I followed the bird up through the beach, and it seems like I have to climb up this mountain here, so... Question is, where can I start climbing? Or, better yet, do I have to... go all the way around? Ah, I found something! Nice! Come on! Come on, thank you! No, 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 I'm not trying to climb down, please, please, okay. Is this where I make a haiku? Oh, snap, this is where I make a haiku, okay, I'm ready. Reflect on death? Yeah, that's that's typical of me to do. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Okay, so I'm... Basically, writing a haiku about death, which is very Scorpio of me to do. Question is, what line should I start? Wait, wait, wait. Bast in peace we rest. Huh, what else should I pick? Unafraid, defender stand. Huh, that one's good. Wow, that's a little bit too morbid, but I like this one. Flourishing and free. Asked in peace, we rest. Unafraid. Defenders stand, flourishing and free. Nice. I like that. You know, I don't really look at death as a negative. I look at it as a way where one journey ends and a new one begins. I look at death as a way to be free, honestly. I mean, I'm not, you know, I promise you, I'm not eager to die like that, but when it happens, I'm ready with open arms, honestly. So, he's in here? Can I go in or no? First of all, is there enemies? Wait, they could see me? Damn, how are you gonna build walls? But they're like, huge and wide enough for me to see through. You're not really hiding behind this gate. Oh, is that really an enemy? Okay, I guess I have to defeat the enemy, right? Uh, obviously I'm gonna use the demon bow, because why not? Oh, let me, let me walk away here. Alright, demon bow. You ready? Oh! That shot was pretty juicy, I ain't gonna lie. No, but seriously, how are they gonna go and build something where the walls are so wide enough where anyone can just slip in? Like this one. Tell us where the others are. I told oh. You, I'm traveling alone. If you wanna live, then stop lying. There's no one else. Wow, how rude. 
Yeah. And what? You really gonna go threaten these people? Think you're able to get away with it? Not, not on my watch. Not in front of my salad. All right, let me go ahead and sneak. Leave them alone so they can cry in peace. I believe there's another one here. Yeah? Shh, stop crying. Well, actually, why? Ooh, hold on, chill. Should I wait until they move or nah? I don't think they see me. Which is good, because that means I can do a sneak attack. I just love hearing the bone being scraped against the dagger that I have. That's pretty cool. Oh, no. No. Shh. Did he see me? No. Come on. Thank you. Come here. Thank you. Wow. I'm able to flank everyone from up here. Holy cow. Is there anyone else I can kill? Show yeah, I should. Yeah, that's right. I'm ready. And guess what? The fire. Me. <laughs> Look at him being burned alive. That is so funny. Come here. Really? Come here. Come up. Come on, please. Please come up. Oh, not... Ooh, that is so awesome. Look at him being burned alive. Uh, that's it? Huh, um, there was only two people? Okay, I guess. Thank you for the arrow. Thank you. I needed that. This is nice. I had so much fun killing all these people, honestly. Okay. I don't see anything else I can take, so I'm just gonna be... Well, let me check on these guys first. Are y'all good? Are y'all okay? Oh, they dipped. Okay, well, that... That's a sign for me to dip as well. What am I looking at here? Oh, no, it's the bamboo strike. Oh, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was pretty satisfying cutting through the bamboo, but man, it was a pain to execute the commands. Okay, I'll try. It's only three, so... Triangle, X, triangle. Ooh! Oh, come on! Oh, okay. Triangle, X, triangle, X, X. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever! I'm trying! Triangle X, triangle XX. Okay, good. Oh, come on! If it wasn't bad enough. And the music, too, because we gotta add in the dramatic music. Okay. Triangle X, triangle XX. L1. Okay. So, one, two, one, two, two, two. Okay. Woo! I did it! Wow. The fact that I actually did that. I'm pretty impressed with myself. No. I have a tale to our tired spirits. Oh. Centuries ago, the warrior, Tadayon, saved Azamo Bay from pirates. No, keep going. Don't let me interrupt you. I'm just in time for the story, I, I guess. It. Yes. Join me. You don't have to ask me twice. I can't wait. Sounds like you have an interesting tale to tell, but I'm surprised to find you in Azamo. We both go where we're needed, Lord Sakai. My story 
is for your ears as well. All right, tell me. Centuries ago, Tadayori Nagao was the greatest archer on our island, famed for his wisdom and perfect aim. The Kami Hachiman himself was so impressed, he gave the archer his armor, light and strong beyond compare. In those days, cruel pirates raided the coast. They threatened the town of Azamo Bay with annihilation. The people fled to safety, but Tadayori faced the pirates alone, wearing his mythic armor. The pirates stormed the town. Tadayori's arrows tore through them. Few survived, but not one blow pierced Tadayori's armor. Years later, Tadayori died peacefully at home. But his armor mysteriously vanished. Wow, Some that's dirty. His guarded still, awaiting the rise of a warrior to defend Tsushima once more. And this is where I come in, right? The little writing about Tadayori that survives refers to a violet crown a place in the north of Azamo, strewn with violet chrysanthemums, where Tadayori would often meditate. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely gonna do this quest because I just need new armor. I need new clothing. I'm a sucker for new clothing, of course. This armor could help, if it's as good as you say. His armor is without equal, my lord. And I believe it is still out there. Find the Violet Crown. The Violet Crown, right? So... Just like how we went through all this journey to find the Demon Bow, we're gonna find this nice, cool, wicked armor. I can't wait to wear it. I bet I'm gonna look so pretty on it. And also, can we talk about the view here? Look at the fog. The th oh, the thunderstorm. Listen, do you guys like thunderstorms or are you the type that is actually afraid? I had a little cousin who was so afraid of thunderstorms. Every time he would hear it, he would instantly start crying. Me, however, I've always been fascinated with thunderstorms. I love it. It helps me to go to sleep at night. So one day he was visiting my aunt and again, we were, we were in the middle of a thunderstorm at home and he started crying instantly and he likes to hide too. So he went to look and hide, but when he turned around, he saw me next to the window not afraid not worrying just looking through the window i think what really helped was the fact that i was actually excited and i wasn't scared so he was pretty curious as to why i wasn't scared and i was like hey check this out and then the thunderstorm came and i'm like wow that's so cool like that as soon as that happened i was like wow look that's so cool and then he would just stare back at me and then he would slowly walk and sit next to me and then listened. Then every time the thunder would come, I say, wow, that's cool. And he would be like, yeah, that's cool. And then after a while, he just stopped being afraid of thunderstorms. So it definitely brings back one memory of me and my cousin. You know, the way I like to listen to thunderstorms by playing this game where every time you see the lightning, you count how many Mississippis until you hear it. And then once you hear it, that's when you know how many miles away the thunder is. All right, but enough of that though. Let's go ahead and clean up this Mongol territory. Because I was on my way to the armor, but it seems like... Oop. It seems like I have some business to attend to here, so... Ooh, that's 
sick the way he fell. I love it. And guess what? This one's gonna fall too. And then this one's gonna fall too. Oh yeah, and this one's gonna fall too. Ooh, and then this one's gonna fall too. Come here. Oh, I just love it. I just love being able to kill people with my demon bow. It's so sick. I don't care if it's OP or not. It's the type of OP that I enjoy. Who else is here? Oh, it's just this guy struggling. There you go. Now you won't have to struggle anymore. You're welcome. Oh, who's there? There you go. This is so sweet. This is fantastic. Who who saw me? Come here. Come here. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at him! Being burned alive. I just love this. I am unstoppable at this point. I mean, obviously I have to stop because I ran out of arrows. Boo. But dude, I just love this weapon. This is my favorite weapon of all time in Ghost of Tsushima. Ah, you don't have anything for me? That's corny. I got up there just for nothing. I have plenty of smoke bombs, so I don't need that. I'll take some arrows though, thank you. Is there anything for me to steal? <gasps> thank you, thank you. What else? Nothing. Cool. Ooh, what's that? Thank you. I just love ransacking the... the area after I kill off all the Mongols. It gives me, like, a satisfying reward knowing that there's less pigs for me to deal with here. Is there anything else I can take? Ooh. Hey, how's it going? Hi, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? You know, seeing them being burned alive just gives me that good satisfaction that I've done my job. Okay, who else is here? Oh, I see one more person. Seems like he's practicing. Yes. Let me see. Let me see what he's doing. Nice. I'm one more bar away from un unlocking the moon stands. Anyways, come on. Oh, sorry, my man, but you're not going to get me. That's for sure. Come on. Come on. What? Oh, he got me. Guess what? Oh, uh, he's pretty hard. Bye. Oh, no, he stabbed me. Oh, that's right. That's the only way I was able to do this. Thank you, smoke bomb. Sometimes you have to work smart, not hard. That's it. All right, so moon stance is highly effective against brutes. Good to know. Thank you. Ooh, okay. That's cool. Moon stands, right? Water, wind, moon. Got it. I got the moon. What? Are you kidding me? Ooh. Wow. The way that I eliminated him. That's insane. You know what? This place is clean, so I'm heading out. W wait, hold on. The way I was holding my sword for a moment, though, that was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. 
Whoa, what is that? Wait a minute. Did I find a nice little bath place for me? Oh, I'm gonna have fun. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. So mystical. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Frankly, it's been a while since I actually took a bath too, so... Reflect on what? Uh, this one. <sighs> Maybe I'll take that Mongol bastard's head. Yes! Or drown him. No. I'll put the torch to him. Oh, wow. Like so many options. So little time. I don't even know what to choose either. I'm tempted. So, I ran into another bath spring. This is so funny. What is this game trying to tell me? That I need to take a bath more than once? Am I that dirty? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna take another bath. During the thunderstorm. Why not? Let's go. Alright, what am I reflecting on this time? Oh, okay. <sighs> Uncle seems so much older. I mean, obviously, Even he grew. Him. He grew up and life put a lot of years into him. I mean, you also grew too, Jen. Wow, this is awkward. I was going to the area with the armor, and yet I ran up on a Mongol pig. But the most shocking part was they didn't even notice I was there the whole time. Careful, Archer! Come on! Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Okay. What? What? Ass. Ooh. There you go. You done? Come on. Hold still. Oh, you made me waste an arrow. I'm pissed. And you. You pissing me off. You done? Cool, everyone's done. Now, if you excuse me, I would like to quietly and calmly claim this armor. Thank you. Okay, so I have to search for the violet flowers. Where is this? Where are these violet flowers? Because all I see is grass. Wait. Okay. Ghost of Tsushima is awesome for giving me a clue. So... Let me go down here and then just keep on... Going towards the path that I saw the little magnifying glass icon on. Who's here? Who saw me? Really? Next. Next. Anyways. Oh, you're so rude. Are you done? Are you done? Now you're done. Oh, you are so funny. That's right. You really think you could... You really think you can compete against me. Pig. Oh, no. They killed innocent people, too. I hate that. 
It's like, let people be. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see it. Oh. What is that? Oh, who's being thrown around? First of all, wait, I should let that bill. I should let that bear kill them. Look at that. Look at that bear throwing them around. That is so funny. Yes. Good job. As you should, bear. As you should. Because that's pretty funny. Oh. No, you're not doing this. Cut it out. I'm not your enemy. But thanks for killing them, though. I'll take that. Thank you. Because you're not going to need it. Okay, so I'm here. Yep. The musician who told me the legend of Talaudi mentioned them. They could lead to the Violet Crown. So where is it? Where's the crown? Is it up here? I bet it is, right? This place is so beautiful. Look at this. Wow. This would be a good place to meditate. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I see a path. It's right here. <gasps> Tadayori's armor could be here. Incense. Burned recently. Someone's been here. Something inside that container. A map to Tadayori's rest. Oh no, another map quest? Are you kidding me? Are you... Ugh, okay, let me look at this. So, I'm up here, right? Find the location shown on the map. Where could this be? Wait a minute, am I really looking at this? Okay, so... Hold on. I think it is down here. Because look, we got the trees, right? Or is it... Nah, this can't be it. It's right there. It has to be. All right, I guess I'll just climb down there, I suppose. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.